It's been like 13 month long process getting this office built, constructed, designed. It's supposed to be done in September. So they planned an event for November. Just gave it a little bit of wiggle room. Office got officially inspected two days ago. So they've been rushing, trying to get everything ready. Everyone's running around, worried about this big sales event we got going on. Dave's coming in later. Everyone's nervous. Everyone's on edge. No one knows what to wear. Get the office inspected. Boom, 250 person event one day later. You wouldn't want it any other way. What's going on? I'm watching on 22. I mean, how's that help? Oh. This is my personal, this is my brain, this is what I've always done. I've done this since before I worked at Barstool. Every week. At this time, I'd be putting on an NBA pick. Guess what? There's no NBA tonight because of election day. The excuses we have here are something I've met. I... You're still dressed like kind of slobbily, all right? <laughs> Just throwing a jacket on a, on a slobby outfit doesn't make, you're wearing a hat, a bull shirt. As well as a yak shirt. I could argue I look nicer than you right now. I'm not, I'm not dressed up to look nice yeah. you're you don't win i'm wearing a sweatshirt you haven't dressed up the look by just throwing on like a coat like that people told me look nice. Who? i've always seen two things i saw me be like why are you wearing a coat and you kind of had the same it's like well i dressed up it's like and then rudy was just confused you don't look dressed up is my is you don't look dressed up you just look different this is dressed up definitely for for our office 100 percent I don't think so. I'm not wearing sweatpants, these are jeans. This is dress up. This is dressed up at all. I'm in the top 25% of dressed up people in the office right now. Fact. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, nobody else is dressed up. I'm not gonna make the mistake of being underdressed to a, a big event as has been made in the past. Okay. Bullshit. Check me. He was golfing a second ago and now he's just playing hacky sack. You want in? No. I, I gotta work, I got a podcast. You're just standing there though. I just wrote a blog, I came out again, that same blog, I'm workshopping it, and then I got a thing. You said that I'm dressed up. I go, you're not dressed up. I like just throwing a coat on a on a trash outfit doesn't automatically mean you're dressed it, up. It might do more harm than good. Because it draws attention to you. Mm -hmm. You look weird. Like, why are you dressed up? It's like, why do you have that sport coat over your trash outfit? <laughs> you kind of look like a clown. <laughs> You're just not dressed up. That's all there is no. to it. I said it was in the top 25% best dressed. Brandon went around the office. We found 12. 11. 11. So my number appears to have been incorrect. That's what I got called in here for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so this is Viva TV. This is a new show. It's a new channel. It's a new office. A lot of you guys have been watching, listening, consuming the products since you know, the Milton days. When I started, New York, Stool Scenes, PMT, The Yak, you know the characters, you know the shows. But one thing we're gonna try and do, especially in the early episodes, is give a little backstory to the people and the program so that when you're watching with your friends who don't follow us, they have a better idea of what's going on and it's not something that you have to know everything. You can just tune in now and have a good idea of what's going on. So if you've been following for a long time, you probably know what you're about to see. If you're new, welcome to the show. This episode of Viva TV is brought to you by your local Chicagoland Chevy dealers. If you're looking to get routine maintenance, oil change, brakes change, tires rotated, just go to ChevyDriveChicago.com, pop in that zip code, and even if you're looking for a new car, you can go check out their entire fleet. You got the Trax, the Equinox, the Suburban. If you're a little bougie like me, you can go get a Corvette. Just go to ChevyDriveChicago.com, and we'll take care of you there. That was about as good as I hoped for. Here in Chicago, we have a large slate of programming that is released in many different ways. We have podcasts, we have studio shows, we have live shows, and we have live streaming. Podcasts, these get recorded, edited, and released at specific dates each week. Live shows, where you guessed it, they're live on YouTube for you every day. Studio shows, a little bit more production, got bigger sets, and they're out for you once a week. Isn't that right, Dave? Last but not least, live streams. They might be in the gambling cave, might be in the golf simulator. We could be live from the people's court, 
or we could be live in the kitchen cooking up meats. All in all, it's about 40 hours of content a week, and what you're watching is the behind the scenes of it all. Oh, Rico, we have a delay due to Rico mopping. Oh, no. He's getting yelled at. Boo. The body armor white delay. A court wife, Rico. I mean, look at how slow he's <laughs> arguing with people. He's going in slow motion. Yeah, this is no sense of urgency. Getting moved. This is yeah. crazy. What the hell is Get he doing? Get on your knees and what is this? This? Now the players are helping. Yeah, that was one of the worst. Is this a fireable offense as the mob he, guy? No, he just he doesn't want to be here and he doesn't want to try. That was crazy. That was that was low energy. The only takeaway for me from the Invitational was uh, JJ, clutch, ice in his veins, hit the half-court shot, and then Rico's reaction was, was was tough to see. I don't know why he was mad. He had a, he had a shot. Like, he he could have done it himself. He didn't. There's something going on with him, and neither of them will tell me. <laughs> I killed someone on that one. What's Rico doing here today? You got any shows lined up? No, I think he's just, uh, you know, it was a tough look for him last time. Bad, horrible. A lot of riders were... Coming over to me, apologizing. Really? Yeah. Last night, I'm gonna make his life miserable now. Who? Rico. Why? You'll see. Fun night. This is what I do. I'm just used to the pressure, used to the big lights. I mean, you see the clips that come out, you see all that stuff, you're like, oh man, everybody else is, and you're upset, and then he's using the excuse, oh, it's a competition. I don't pay much attention to what he does or doesn't do. Totally irrelevant to me, what I do, you know? Why'd you give away the money, the, the half court shot? I loaned you 15K, now you're just giving money away? That was a $23 prize. Where do you think the prize came from, Dodo? Uh, that was you? Yes! A fan can use it more than me. You just got a loan for 15K from me. That means you, you could use it. I don't yeah, you're right. I think when Jerry got his vote, he was like, I'm good, I'm rich. Whoever wins? Right? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I, he's, I think he's like, I don't need that money anymore. Because you're like, I'm good. Well, no, I paid off everything I had to pay off. All right, good. good. Sure. Happy, I'm happy. Big cat, big loan. Jerry was asking where you were. I was wondering where you were all day. Listen, there's some alternate angles coming out. They're bad. To the point where riders are now in my DMs like, let me know if you need something. You got the biggest bowl. You got the new dog house. You got everything. So it's all good. Old dogs still got something left in them, though. Not much. I got bad leg. They're, not, they're like, all right, we'll see how. I don't, do we want to pay that vet bill? They're going to take you out back and shoot you? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. At any time, too, that could happen. You got the organic food. You got the you got like the, you got the crazy owners. You take a shit, they wipe you. But you can't be mad at him for that. No, you just state the facts. I mean, yeah, it's not real. I wasn't really mad at him. It was just another. Like, another thing, Jerry. Bang, another, another thing one. for the old puck. <laughs> another one. I mean, eventually you'll be euthanized. Yeah. Eventually. Did you have a contract yet? Not yet. I don't know. I think there's an owner. I think. I think. I think the owner will go right. I think, one of, I think one of the owners is, really respects the old puck. I think I'm up in three years. Yeah, three. Jerry, yeah. you have a lifetime contract. Dan no. just gave you a loan. True. To pay your credit card off. That's true. What happened? They're kind of the new dog, old dog. He said he's gonna be euthanized. It's a whole thing. What do you think? You think he's playing around? He's in hell right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh nice to meet you. Gotta make your last one before we do the interview. There it is. Don't miss! Oh. All right, Chris is here. First shot. Cash. First pay. Chris, the first shot of the basketball court. Oh. Here's the first shot. Here. Let's go. First shot. Oh my God. One take. It is Chris Thompson. It is Andrew Whitworth. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Miami Dolphins legend right there. He should have he should have never been benched in 2020. That was his team. Should I go off to him and say something? They should have never took that team from you. It's all good, man. It's that all worked out. Do you think you won a Super Bowl? I think that's gonna be tough. See my see my high score up there, Jerry, is 314. Good ball. I see, it. I see it. I'm watching. He's gonna break it though. It does appear that I am stronger than you, but like no. you're doing great. I don't Ooh. think that's the case. Oh, that's it. Wow. That's, that's it. Two. No, that's going. That's oh, step three. Oh, I carry three on it. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, look. I, sorry. Sorry. What was the higher score? I didn't. What was the yardage you? Yeah. I yeah. think it was uh, Brandon he Walker 316. I think we saw it when we were riding by, but I didn't. I didn't see what the You're number right. was. When we were flying over. <laughs> 
When we were flying over, I saw the number, I just couldn't see it. Here we go. Now we're done. All right, that sport's over. What else we got? I'll throw the live. Oh, yeah. That hurt. That leg got a little. Shoot, shoot Oh, my gosh, Chris, and that's intimidating. For the next two to three months, we're going to just see what happens with the space. Like, do weird streams, sports, all that stuff. Dodgeball, we're going to pick captains with the wheel and then we'll just do a draft how many people are playing dodgeball and it's how big are the teams teams of five so however many people we have we'll break them into teams of five it's gonna be first stream you play dodgeball i guess so yeah i'm a, i'm around all day i used to be able to throw so hard but now i have the muscle memory of how to do it if i don't have the muscles and so i will literally tear my shit if i try to do it i bet you can get it back in a month that's hidden athleticism huh? hidden. is that your new thing oh, yeah, yeah. Out. That group yeah because i feel like i have a shorter Lower body. Oh, yeah. I have a long middle body. Because I have short arms, shorter legs, <laughs> shorter cock. Uh, we should just mix it up because these are really small. Those are like very tiny. I was like, we should get a little bit bigger ones. Big Cat and Roan are going to be down here, so you guys might have to like yell at each other. Like, like. Ow. I'm wrecked. <laughs> Good on me because Dan was like, you excited for dodgeball today? I'm like, yeah, I got a great idea, Dan. I said, I should ref. Now, the reason I want to ref is because I'm tired. I'm really tired. I got barely any sleep. Dan was like, oh my God, great idea. You got a referee shirt? I was like, yep. He's like, you got a whistle? I'm like, I'll order it right now. Jerry ref gets a day off. Had a good performance last night. I mean, last night was a triple double for me. Today, I get to chill, relax, make some calls, blow the whistle. Kick back, get me a little salad for lunch for once. On the company dime. That was really good. This place is a mess. Look at all these water bottles. Buddy, listen, we have some guests in today. Show mm -hmm. them respect. This is a mess though. There's a lot of water bottles out here. Mm -hmm. I expect it to up on a certain stand. Wait, that one's fine. Yes? Well, well, you can't have it in there. It's five feet. There. I think Rico's gonna be out for blood. He's got, Rico's got some rage pent up from last night at the Parcel Invitational that he's about to let out, so I'd want him on my team. Dodgeball's hard. Uh, I'm not excited for this, but we'll see. Rico looks mad. Why he is, is Rico mad? mad? He's only playing one game. What, what are you mad about, Rico? Fuck. Oh my Listen, I'm not going to be an asset. I'm going to be a human meat shield. Whoever I'm with, I'm just going to kamikaze. I'm going to run onto the other side, get pelted, and then hopefully take someone else out on their side. You got to use your best assets, and that's my best one for dodgeball. So. It's not really a bad time to put cookies in the oven. If we're going to play, not smart by me. Fuck. If you step on the line, you're done. You have to be behind this line at all times. It's very simple rules. Three, two. Taylor's done! Taylor's done! Step on! Taylor's done! Watch your foot across the line! That shit, that's bullshit. Right. Hey, Jerry! That's bad ball, brother. You stepped over the line? Yeah, I know what you said. Be better. <laughs> Them little boys out there, they can't eat with us big dogs. Look at him. He's 6'5. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, that oh, just yeah. ran through. You were the kamikaze? Yeah, you were Brandon out there. He said, kamikaze. He's <laughs> surviving. Go, Mincy, go. <laughs> Good effort, Mincy. Jerry, you can't see anything from up there. You just the ivory tower and get down here to Jackson Mosley. i never seen NFL players complain like NFL players. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Forget it. I'm coming down. Egregious calls left and right. They hit your foot. Egregious. It Absolutely. Foot. I, it bounced off the ball that, that I had fucking blocked it. And I don't take those fucking stairs either. They could wait, ref show, ref show, ref show. Do you want it to be a ref show? I'll, I'll shut down the tournament. NFL cry baby, NFL play the, the pro bowlers, all pros complaining about dodgeball. It is kind of fitting though. His world, like the you know what I mean? The rest of us adhere to him. Young pop. Come on. Headaches, referee headaches, everything's a headache. Harry! I got pulled muscle on my side. It's not an excuse, but it does hurt very badly. Cap's caught Eric's cap before. You're a right dick! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, 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 yeah!
Job done? No, job wasn't done. So now we gotta go. We're fighting the refs and we're fighting these nerds. I'm good. Yes. Taylor, when you threw the ball, yeah. both feet were not behind this line. Are you me? Yes, they were. Both feet I were not behind this line. Yes, Your left foot came over here. You have to be it's behind this line. It's a ball through Jerry! <laughs> you have to be behind this line. If you throw it and step over, you're out. That's what the rules are! I'm happy one one with the rules. Yeah, follow the rules around here. I'm hurting. Good game. Champions. That's what we are. Champions. No second place bullshit around here. Can we get t-shirts? Dodgeball champs. Shut up, man. You beat, you beat me and then Who won? <laughs> That's your team's fault. Who won? Did, did Smokes win? Couldn't tell. People are calling you a ring chaser, Smokes. Saying you can't lead your own team. You're carried. You're a bus rider. I hit the game winner. How, how can I be a bus rider? I hit the game winner. You're a bus rider. That's what they're calling I'm a champion. You. That's what they're saying. I'm a champion. You don't have a ring. I do. I didn't, I'm not the one saying it. Why are you attacking me, dude? I didn't you, fucking say anything. You said I'm a bus rider. I did not say that. I said people are saying that. I didn't say the you, shit. So you don't, don't feel that way. Don't kill the fucking messenger, folks. Sometimes the messenger gets in the way of the shot. You're more of a short bus rider. I didn't think I'd like you. I'm taller than you, though. Doing the best we can, not eating the carbohydrates, but you know, try not to spill any of it on my shirt. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I can. Well, am I not supposed to be eating? Am I eating too early? Oh, whatever. 